This is Great Big Boar's Politics and Religion Tour 7.0. This video covers the night of the 13th of October 2011 and some of the morning of Friday. It's still Thursday night. It's not clear when the cops expect us to be out of their way. So we're kind of being proactive and getting all our stuff out of the way right now. After the comfort station grew so big and, and uh, drove me out of my original spot, I was very lucky to uh, end up camping right next to a, a group of people that were ultra cool and ultra prepared. When I bailed out last night, I, uh, I just walked away with my computer and stuff on my back. I didn't bring my clothes or my pack or any of that stuff. And uh, apparently it, it got a little bit mistreated uh, while it was raining last night. And uh, these guys that I camped next to kind of took up for me a little bit and, and uh, rescued my stuff from being abused by other people and put it in a big plastic bag. So at least some of my stuff is still dry. And uh, Flying Spaghetti Monster is really smiling on us. We've been breaking down camp for about an hour, and uh, it hasn't rained on us while we're doing that, although it's been raining off and on all day. So uh, your guys' prayers, I really do appreciate all your guys' prayers. Don't let the mass media tell you that we're a bunch of dirty hippies, because these guys are cleaning up. These are the guys that are kind of allowing me to be a satellite of their camp. And uh, they're taking all this stuff in this bin to a storage unit somewhere. And my stuff is going with it. We have quite a crowd here. The mediation group is calling for a vigil, an all-night vigil. The direct action group is calling for nonviolent uh, continued occupation. It's going to be an interesting night, you guys. It's difficult for me to understand what the higher-ups must be thinking, because every time they do something to us, it gives them a black eye and uh, just increases the support for us. I mean, everything they do seems to martyr us, and now they're apparently threatening to tow the truck that we're going to use for moving all of our stuff to storage, although it's not really in anybody's way. What do you, what do you think? What if you guys was saying something about going without sex for a long time. For some reason this makes me think of that. Squeegee check! Anyone have a squeegee? 
Half an hour past midnight right now, Friday morning, and there are, I don't know, at least 30 people running around with these scrubby brooms, still sweeping. I haven't figured out what exactly they're doing. But they're working their asses off, that's for sure. The cops seem quite a bit more relaxed than before as well. I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe the... Uh, Maybe because they kept getting a, a PR black eye every time they slapped us around, but uh, maybe the police chief decided to send the more friendly cops out here. I don't know, but I see several of them just kind of standing around yakking with us, uh, which for the first couple of weeks was just absolutely unheard of. One thirty on Friday morning. We just had a pretty good downpour for about 10 minutes, I guess. Maybe not quite 10 minutes. Got some diehards out here. These people are serious. Serious respect to these guys. The guy just walked by me with a hamburger in his hand and said that the police had instructed McDonald's to shut down. So now I'm walking over to McDonald's to try to get some insight into what the heck he was talking about. That just doesn't make any sense at all. It occurs to me that some of the things they do must be just like procedural things because they don't make any sense from a just a, a logical standpoint of, I mean, why would they need seven cops at the door as if we're going to break in or something? Nine regular officers here and, and three white-shirted officers guarding the door of McDonald's. It's just really bizarre. Three o'clock on Friday morning. And this is a first. I don't see any cops along Broadway on the sidewalk. That's the first time since this whole thing started. The Occupy Wall Street Library being transferred to storage in anticipation of the shutdown. I've never seen the inside of a news van before. Jesus Christ. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. And the crowd has just been growing all night long. I, I tried to count the people at one point or just try to take a sample. I don't know. There's got to be at least well over a thousand people here. As the morning goes on, uh, that happens more and more often. More popular support there. Ten after six. I swear there must be 2,000 people over there. That's 7.0. Thanks for watching.